Okay, so today we're talking about the Sys module. And the Sys module stands for system, and it allows us to perform some system-based functions. For example, checking for the version, stuff like that. So the first um, function, or actually before that, let's go ahead and import Sys into our module or into our shell. And once we do that, we now have all the Sys functions handy. So if you want to view the different functions, what you can do is you can type in Sys dot and then using your down arrow key you can now take a look at all the different functions there are with the sys there's this sys.exit that exits out of the um, module there's sys. Um, let's take a look <laughs> sys.version sys.version will give you the version of your machine and so on so we're going to be talking about three functions with the sys module today the first one is the stdin okay and that's short for standard input. That's basically like the input, except with the stdin, um, you can specify how many characters you want to read in. So I'm going to show you quickly how this works. Um, first the thing you have to do is you have to create a variable. So I'm going to call this our input statement. And this is going to be equal to sys.stdin.readLine. Okay? And all read line says is it's it's a function which is used to read a line of text typed on the keyboard. Okay, and once we hit enter, it's now reading whatever we type. So this sentence is going to be read by the function we just enter. All right. So now if we print out input statement, okay, what happens? This sentence is going to be read by the function we just entered. So you're probably wondering, well, what's the difference between this and our input statement? Well, there's not much to it, I guess. I mean, both of them do the exact same function, except with the sys.stdin.readline, what you can do is you can also specify how many characters you want to um, read. So let's say you were uh, asking the guy to enter his password, okay? And you have a limit for the number of characters that can be a password. So let's say this guy entered 11 characters and the limit for yours is 10. So instead of reading all 11, what you can do is you can just take in the first 10. Again, that's sort of pointless, but I'm just giving an example over here. So what you can do is let's go back to our input statement and, um, oh, whoops. So can I change this? Yes, we can. Okay. So in our read line over here, go ahead and specify to be the first 10 characters. So we're only going to get part of sentence and full this, but if we just hit enter, it gives me an error, multiple statements found. Okay, that's probably because I um, had just done that. So I'm just going to go ahead and write this again. Input statement is equal to sys.stdin.readline. And then in the brackets, I want to put in, let's say, the first 10 characters. So now if I just type in, this is a password, okay? and hit enter, if I now print out input statement, what happens? We get this is up. So everything after the first 10 characters wasn't even considered. All this did is it read the first 10 characters. So again, it's pretty cool if you just want a specific amount of characters. Otherwise, stick to input. There's no need to write all this random long line stuff and also having to import the sys module. Okay? Now the next function, and again it's quite similar to this, is the std out. So just like there was a standard input, there's a standard output. And all the standard output does is it's basically the same as print. It just prints out the line. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Um, it's just going to be as sys.stdout.write. Okay. And again, remember this write function? We've used it before in files. So sys.stdout.write. Um, this statement is awesome. Okay, so this is basically just like the print again. Um, this returns a number of characters as well, as well in case you wanted that. But look, don't use system for that much. Um, it doesn't have much of a purpose currently. Again, print and input, both of them do the exact same functions as sys. I'm just telling you some modules and some functions that you can use with them just to get your basics cleared out. Now, the last function we're going to cover for the sys module and trust me, this is the last one, is the version, okay? So we've imported sys and go ahead and just call sys.version, okay? 
and it gives me hey the version of python i'm using is 3.4.2 it tells me the date trust me it's not october 5th 2014 i have to change that um and it gives me some 4.2.1 stuff and my apple link and stuff like that but yeah so this can tell me what version of python i'm using and some other detailed information awesome so let's do a quick recap of what we covered in this small lecture um we talked about three functions with the sys module we learned how to read how to write and how to get the version of your computer cool see you in the next lecture